Today I am crafting with pasta. Now we're not eating it, we're crafting with pasta. It's yummy. I need to let you know, this is my disclaimer, everything that I'm crafting with today is from Eco Heidi Studio. Did you know that you can buy pasta at Eco Heidi Studio? She has it. Well, you can't actually buy it, but you can borrow it. So you want to get some really cool pasta shapes. So come down and take a look at my art box. On the top, you can see I used the pasta pieces, and these are in the shape of wheels. Of course, pasta is available in so many different shapes and sizes. You can have a lot of fun. I'll come back in a little while and show you more of the details on my box because I am working on a frame. I am using the Aline's Fast Grab Tacky Glue because I want to be fast with this. And keep your bottle upside down ready to go and just give it a good squeeze out. On this project, I am just doing some fast gluing. So I'm dipping it gently into the glue. You don't want to over glue. And this fast grab is really, really tacky. So just take your pieces dip them in, dab them off a little bit, and put them in place. Easy enough. So are you thinking now of what pasta shapes that you want to craft with? You know, I was inspired by this project from one of Eco Heidi's projects. She did a beautiful flower with pasta pieces on the top of a box. So be sure and check out the Cool to Craft archives to find that project too. So I'm going to keep gluing here. When my gluing is done, we're going to go on an adventure. Because what you want to do is to spray paint this entire piece. After you glue on all of your pasta pieces, you let the glue dry and then you spray paint it. What you want to do is use a really well ventilated area for spraying. At Eco Heidi's studio, it's sometime an adventure to go and spray. So are you ready for my adventure? <laughs> Let's go. All right, this is a spray bottle. It's not paint, but it's water. You're gonna see why I need this. Here we go. She likes you. So as you can see, you take your life into your own hands when you venture outside at the Eco Heidi Studios to the spray paint booth. So we're back in the studio. I have spray painted my pasta and so this project is finished. I love just the white on white with this. Another quick idea for you, of course, I have to do my cool to cast. So I thought, oh, I wonder if I can embed the pasta shapes into cool to cast. Yes, you can. You just put it into the bottom of your mold, pour your cool to cast around it. You can dye it. I noticed when it was drying that it does crack a little bit, but I think it'll be fine once I put a glossy coat over the top. One more thing to do. As I promised, I wanted to show you one more time some of the close up items. Follow me down here. <laughs> what I did is I spray painted the whole box gold first, then I stamped it with silver ink and used some of the mirrored tiles from Eco Heidi Studio to do a bit of a mosaic pattern following along those rubber stamp lines. Just using my Aline's Fast Grab Tacky Glue, I glued pieces of the 
mirrored here. I love this glass. It's um it's a vintage look. It has a very textured look to it. And on the top, let's see which way if this is the right way. Oh, I don't know if you can see this. It's very, very faded. It says be happy, but I don't know if you can see it. Can you see there? It says be happy. <laughs> and then on the top, to finish it off, put the little Swarovski rhinestones in the middle of each of the pieces of pasta. Oh, on the feet. These are just little balls that I use that same ink. So I have a really funky art box. You can create with pasta any way you'd like to. It's yummy. I think it's cool to craft.